in this recording, the last in our series, we will teach you how to save the design now. So we've created this Merry Christmas Everyone design and now we want to save it so that we can actually use it. So we're here we're going to go up to the word file and we're going to click on it and you there's many options for save. You can save as a stitch and working file. Uh, if you click save it's going to save the design as um, my design and if you tend to save all of your designs in the same folder, you're going to be overwriting um, you know, right over the previous design that you may have so saved as my design. So I always like to click on Save As. And I like to click on Save As Stitch and Working File. That way I know that if I decide I want to come back in here, I can change the words without ha ever having to start from scratch. So Save As Stitch and Working File. And now it brings up. So I have it saved to a folder that I have preset. So if you can see right here, it already says my design. So if I was to save this one as my design, it's going to write over um, on top of these and I will lose what these were. So I'm going to create a new word and say Merry Christmas. And you want to make sure you save it in the format that your um, embroidery machine will read. So I use the DST, so I save it as DST. I've renamed it. I have it in the folder I want it to be in. I've saved it to the format I want, and I click Save. So when I open the folder, you can see I have the DST format saved, which my machine will read, and I have the BE extension. BE is the extension um, file extension that the Embrilliant software uses. So if I double click on that, it opens up the design in the Embrilliant software. So now I can go in here and say, well, I don't want it to say Merry Christmas, everyone. I wanted to say Merry Christmas. scooter because I'm going to use this as um, a design for my dog. So I say scooter and I'll click set and that simple, that quick, that fast, that easy, it changes the word to scooter and I go up here to file again and I can save as and this time I want to make sure it says Merry Christmas scooter. It's in the folder I want it to be in. It's the design file format that my machine reads and I click save. That fast, that simple, and that easy. I hope this information was helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and also subscribe to our YouTube channel to be informed when we upload new videos. You can find us on Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram as Creative Appliques. We are also on Twitter, at C Appliques. And of course, all of our designs are available on our website, www.creativeappliques.com. Thanks for joining me today, and make your life creative.